Let's talk about jerky. <laughs> Look at Barney on it. <sighs> if you're watching this in the future, no, I'm not uh, a, a, an ex-footballer or boy band member that's fallen on hard times. We're in the middle of a national lockdown, so Barnet has to be a bit unruly until, until we can go and get it lobbed off. But we're not here for that. We're here to talk about all things jerky. <laughs> okay. I like real fit, yeah, imagine it, with mu dramatic music just going over like, oh, this is, uh, this is what I keep in my bag, this is jerky, here's some mushrooms. Looking forward to getting out on some bigger adventures, but until then, we're going to talk about jerky, and we're going to make some and taste test it, and it's something that you can do at home with your kids, it's something that you can do at home in preparation for your long distance hikes or your wild camps or even put it in your bait box for work. So jerky is basically just dried meat or fish or whatever it may be. It's drying out the meat so it doesn't spoil so you can save it for months on end. It's thought to have originated in South America in the 1800s. It enabled people to preserve the meat when it was readily available in abundance and then preserve it for times when it was a little more scarce. So you can jerky all sorts, mate. You can do uh, any meat that you can think of, you can jerky, even fish. I've got my eye on making some, some nice salmon jerky. So without further ado, let's get into it. Putting your meat in the freezer for 20 minutes, half an hour beforehand, stiffens the whole thing up and makes it easier to cut into thin slices. Give your hands a good wash. Assemble your ingredients on a chopping board for the purpose of the video. No other reason to do this whatsoever. Make sure your knife is super sharp before you start. Trim off any excess fat because this will spoil over time. You want to be cutting the beef against the grain and that'll make it less chewy and more soft. And you want to be cutting it about a quarter of an inch thick. And then you want to cut it into strips. Remove all the excess fat and carry on cutting up the meat. Now for the marinade, we have Worcester sauce, soya sauce, garlic powder, smoked paprika, chili flakes, black pepper, and then a teaspoon of my friend's homemade honey. Get everything all smashed up together, and then you want to add the meat one bit at a time so that you know it's all fully coated. In with a little bit more of everything, because why not? And you want to cover that with cling film, pop it in your fridge for a few hours, overnight would be ideal. I left mine overnight, get it out the next day, and then we're going to arrange it on the rack. Don't overlap the meat, it's fine to be touching because it will shrink quite a lot. Remove the excess moisture with some paper towels and then you want to cook it low and slow for about three or four hours and then voila, it's done. There she is, a decent, a decent jar of beef jerky. Ugh. Oh man, it smells so good. The re one of the reasons I've made this is I like to experiment with the keto diet. And so I find that this is a perfect little snack to have at work or when you're hiking. And it's, it's pretty expensive when you buy it from the shops. So I thought, 
just get a cheap cut of meat, you know, something with not so much fat on it, bit of top side or whatever it may be, and knock some up. Look at her. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Sweet from the honey. A lot of people add liquid smoke, but it's not my thing. I don't think it's very good for you. Um, so I've just used smoked paprika, and you still get that smoky hit. And then I have just a few, a few, um, a few chili flakes. A few dried chili flakes gives that heat. So you've got the heat and the sweet. Really nice. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> just sit and watch me eat this. Mm. Doesn't look over clever, does it? Doesn't look over clever, but that is delicious. Also, I've just realised that my microphone's there, so apologies. Apologies for chewing. I'll put that away. I won't chew anymore. I will. I'll just have one more bit. One more little bit. Let's take a bit off there. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. Mmm. And I'm gonna, I can leave that uh, for months on end and just take a little bit as and when I need it. I was buying it from the shops and taking it hiking and, on, and to work and stuff and it was just, it's so expensive. So I thought I'd make up a jar. You can do it with mince, um, ground beef or ground whatever you want and flatten that out and turn that into jerky. It's a, a, a more cost effective way of doing it. Get creative, don't just put what I've put in it. I just I was just keeping it simple, but you know, you could, you can put coffee in it, you can make it extra spicy, you can put a barbecue sauce, anything you want, anything you can think of within reason, stick it in there and experiment with different flavors. It's a long process, but it's worth doing because it, it does, it, as I say, it does last for a long time. So you can just, look, keep it on shelf next to the, and next to the mushrooms. <laughs> and I hope your vegan girlfriend doesn't accidentally snaffle one thinking it's a part of a, a <laughs> thinking it's part of an oyster mushroom or something. <laughs> right. Also, these shit. The new Leave No Trace T-shirts uh, with a Hayes logo on the back. Um, they're in the shop now, so I'll leave a link below if you want one of them. Yeah, if you do make jerky, I mean, <laughs> this is a sentence I never thought I'd say, but if you do make jerky, tag me on Instagram because I'd like to have a look and tell us what you put in it and if it worked out for you. I'd be interested to know. And that's it. I'll be back. I'll be back again soon with another video. I'm sorry it's, uh, it's another Tales from the Fungarium. I've had opportunities to go out wild camping in private woodland, which I'm not sure if that's there's, if there's a problem with that, but after a lot of soul searching, I thought, no, I don't think it's fair to go out while camping while there's people who watch this who are gagging to get out. So I'm, I'm not doing it just for solidarity. We're all in it together and I'm in it as well. And I'm missing, I'm missing my wild camping. Yeah, so I'm staying away from wild camping until we're officially allowed out. And I know it's probably cool to do it in someone's private land, but it's, it's about solidarity. And, uh, and letting everyone know that we're in this together. M me and you, fellow humans. I'm enjoying that it's making me creative and making me think outside the box as far as getting videos together and doing some cool stuff that I'm enjoying. So if it's something you like, don't forget to hit If you've enjoyed the video and you wanna see more of my future videos, you can click the subscribe button. If you wanna be notified of future videos, you can click the bell button next to it. Um, that's all downstairs anyway. If you don't want to don't bother mate, there's plenty of content on this daft website for us all to enjoy. We're nearly out the other side, aren't we, anyway, of, uh, of this lockdown. It's, a, <laughs> it's been a, whoo, it's been a wild ride.
and I know people have suffered and I know I know people are suffering and it, you know people might never be the same again it's been absolutely bonkers and it is it's, it's there to test your metal and I'd like to think that we when our metal is tested stand up to it and we be strong not even not even if it's not for ourselves for the people around us who look to us uh, in these times of woe. So I hope you're all feeling okay in these crazy times. I send you nothing but love. I hope you're all looking after each other and more importantly yourself. Don't kick your tits off and feel bad about feeling bad. You know, if you can't hack it, don't worry about it. Just speak to someone. I'll leave a number below for the Samaritans. You can always talk to them and talk to each other. Sometimes it's easier just to talk to a stranger. Uh, it ain't easy, mate. We're all, we're all in it together. We're all suffering our, in our own little ways. But I send you nothing but strength, strength and love, and we'll be out of this soon, mate. I'm looking outside. The daffodils are poking their heads up. The nights are getting longer, and we'll soon. This will all just soon be a distant memory. So, look after yourselves. Take care of one another. I'll see you soon. Au revoir. Mm. Delicious. See you later, mate.